Hey, what's going on, family? Sister Michelle here dropping another video. You know how I drop my videos. I drop them when I get a chance to drop them. I love you all so much. Thank you for subscribing to my videos, of course. I love all of you with all of my heart, and I'm wishing you love and light on your journey, and I'm hoping you're having the best healing journeys of your life because you know that you deserve it. No narc zone. I just said in my other video, drop down and leave me questions that you might want to be answered on my channel because I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to address personal you know, questions. And like I said, I'm going to address your names if that's okay with you all. And if it's not, let me know. And we're going to start getting this on the, you know, get it rolling. One day, hopefully we'll do it live. I love y'all. This video right here is about the narcissist and how the narcissist truly suffers in silence, complete silence. And what I mean by that is not when you're being abused by a narcissist and you know, that comes from a pain and an inadequate childish behavior. I'm talking about when you think the narcissist doesn't feel anything, especially after the discard, and they're not saying anything, and they're not hoovering you, and you're just thinking, they're okay now. They've gone on, and they're not this kind of person, which they are going to always be that kind of person, and they're not expressing any kind of true remorse, which they don't have the true remorse, of course, you know that, but they're not, not, they're not doing anything. They're, you're at a standstill with them where you think they're, they're, they're doing pretty damn good. Well, that's farthest from the truth. The narcissist always suffers for a period. We know that they suffer period, but they definitely suffer in silence. They suffer every day. That's what the video I just did about the drinking and alcohol. If you haven't seen it, go back and look at it. The Maha was saying, that's why they do that to numb down the pain and all the stuff that they go through every day because they're suffering in silence. Listen to your sister. They suffer in silence every single day. Even if they're not saying a word, trust me when I tell you they're suffering. The best thing that you can do when you're dealing with this kind of thing is to know that. Know that no matter what you think, is going on with them? Trust me, baby. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. They suffer every single day in silence. They sit around and think about the things that they haven't done right or they shouldn't have done or they lost good supply and how they've gone on and now what they got going on is not worth the damn, which is, you know, the Hoover happens. But sometimes even when the Hoover doesn't happen, they still think those things. They sit around a lot of times and say, you know what? Man, I thought I was going to be this kind of person and it's not panning out the way that I thought it was going to pan out. I thought I was going to be 10 steps ahead, but I keep taking 10 steps back. Man, that's messing with me. You know what I'm saying? Or I thought by going off getting a new supply, this is going to fix everything. And I see that it's not fixing anything. I still feel the same way I did with the last person I was with and the person before that. I'm always in suffrage. That's the way they think. But sometimes you don't never hear it. But it's happening. Trust your sister when I tell you that. They suffer in complete silence. Right? And the best thing that we can do <laughs> is hope they keep silent forever with their big funky mouths. You know how I feel about YouTube don't block me. But their suffering never stops, honey. It never stops. Even when they're laying with the new supply, who you might think at the time is better than you are because a lot of times in the beginning, that's what you think. But that's not the case. This Jesus, new supply ain't better. It's just a different fool. I keep telling you, that's a new person. Try to run game on. We already know that. They're suffering even then. I don't care if they look like they're having the best time of their lives. And that's important to re realize also that they can sit around and it looks on the outside like they're living their best life. And you can't understand. Them. You're scratching your head like, how is this person living their best life after every damn thing they've done? That's not true. They're suffering in so much silence. And also them letting people know how bad they're suffering to them is a loss. It's a blow to the ego. Like I always said, it's a blow to them. Like if I let people know that I truly feel this way. Oh, man, it's really going to blow the cover off of who the fuck I truly am, which is a really unhappy, inside, lonely, unfulfilled human being. And it stink. <laughs> you too, I said it. So trust me when I tell you, even if you're not seeing anything from a narcissist or hearing anything from a narcissist and they seem like they're living their best life, as far as from the truth, they suffer in silence every day and probably will suffer in silence for the rest of their funky life. Yeah. And like I said before, a lot of times, that's what they want us to do. They, they might not want to contact us. They might not want to deal with us. Like, we don't want to deal with them. But they're hoping that we suffer in silence for the rest of our lives. That we don't have a voice, right? Because they figure once they do all this stuff to us and discard us and mistreat us and all this other stuff, when they're done with us, we'll go on and suffer without us even saying a word. They just want to subconsciously know that we're suffering, Right? So the, basically, we're the person in return that's suffering in silence. That's what they want for us because they are the ones that truly suffer in that space. Listen to your sister. I know what I'm talking about. 
They suffer by themselves. And they're going to have to get themselves out of the gates of hell, if you ask me. Well, they might not want to leave the gate, considering that's the home. I've told you that a million times. But yeah, they suffer in silence, baby. And like I said, the best silence of all is not hearing their funky mouth for the rest of our lives. Now, that's a blessing. I love y'all. Bye.